Here's problem 15, 8. The mass in the figure slides on a frictionless surface. If the mass is 2 kilograms, the spring constant K1 is 800 newtons per meter, and spring constant K2 is 500 newtons per meter. The frequency of oscillation in hertz is approximately... All right, so we have a system. Spring constant K1 is 800 newtons per meter. K2 is 500 newtons per meter. And we have a mass that's 2 kilograms. What would happen if we pulled this system a little bit, say, to the right? So this spring over here would stretch a little bit. And this spring over here would be compressed a little bit. So we're going to go some distance x to the right. Hence, uh, there'll be a force that's called F, little f1 equal to a negative k1x pulling back to the left. And then there'll be a pushing force of the other spring, which will also be to the left. That's called F2 equal to a negative K2X. So both of these forces are going to be restoring back towards the left hand side. And we could say that our net force will be the sum of these two forces, F1 plus F2. That's going to equal a negative K1X um, plus a negative K2X. So it's going to equal a negative K1 plus K2 times x. I can think of this as a restoring force, a net force, that has an effective k constant that is equal to the sum of these two, k1 plus k2. Hence, that's going to be equal to uh, 800 plus 500, or 1300 newtons per meter. And hence, we've got a characterized a Hooke's Law force with an effective force constant of 1300 newtons per meter. All right, so for that simple harmonic motion, we should have an angular frequency equal to our k effective divided by mass square root, which is essentially is going to be k1 plus k2 divided by the mass square root. So this angular frequency is going to equal 1300 divided by 2 square root and that's equal to oops what twenty five point five radians per second so that's our angular frequency we want the frequency in Hertz that's going to be equal to the angular frequency divided by 2 pi. So that would be 25.5 divided by 2 times pi. And that will give us the linear frequency. 4.06 per second, or 4.06 hertz. So this system, once we characterize it from one spring constant, has a frequency of 4.06 hertz.